Welcome back to Windows Pen Testing with Kelly. In section 4, we are going to look at exploits and how easy it is to bypass a system that is not fully patched. This video will have a disclaimer on just to make sure that you know that as an ethical hacker, I will not and do not condone you being stupid with what I'm about to show you. We take no responsibility for you using the tools over and above educational purposes only. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, what we will do in this section, we will go and have a look at what exactly Metasploit is. We will from there, in video two, have a look at how to use Metasploit as well as Metasploit scripts. In video three, we will be using the alternative to Metasploit, which is the GUI called Armitage. And in the last video, I will show you some other tips and tricks on how to exploit. For now, let's go and explore Metasploit. But what exactly is Metasploit? Well, it's an open source framework and a tool for developing and executing exploitation code against a remote targeted machine. Okay, so that's what Google said. From my perspective, we can use Metasploit to find security issues, and if we find vulnerabilities, you can then verify those vulnerabilities by exploiting them on targeted machines. Basically saying, if you find a vulnerability in your company, you go and test that vulnerability in your company. But let's go and have a look at the Metasploit definitions. First of all, we have something known as the framework. This is sort of what Metasploit is. It's sort of like an app or an interface that you would use if you want to hack a remote system. Of course, for testing purposes. Then we have the Meterpreter. The Meterpreter is sort of like a portal between your machine and a machine that you have successfully hacked into. And lastly, we have the payload. This is the piece of code that you're going to use in the exploit. It's basically what is going to deliver the exploit to the targeted machine. See these three things the following way. You've got a bush and obviously as it's going to be growing, the roots are going to cause cracks. Those cracks are the vulnerability. And that is where you are going to be exploiting into. And the payload? Well, I don't know if that is a bomb going off, but that's basically what your payload is. But let me go and show you exactly what Metasploit looks like before we're going to start with the actual exploiting. Start up your Kali machine and let me go and show you. In your terminal, we first need to go and start up the service necessary in order to run Metasploit. So you're going to start off by typing service, then post, tab, and that will then autofill to GRE SQL, and then start. Once the service is started, you can just go and verify by changing the start to status. If it's running, awesome. In order to run Metasploit, you are going to just type msf console and enter. Now don't freak out if your picture is different than mine. Metasploit has got a different little picture every time it starts up. So let's just give this a second. It will come up now. Ooh, I've got a heart today. <laughs> Nevertheless. And from here you can do things like, for example, show all. And this will give you a listing for every single exploit, auxiliary, payload, everything that is currently within Metasploit. You can then just go and run through them and have a look at what's going on. Ooh, it's still got a few to go. There we go, it's done. So people, this is basically what your platform looks like. Not very difficult, quite easy to use as well. 